Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. My adjournment tonight is to the Minister for Education, and the action I am seeking is that funding is provided to schools in my electorate of Kew in this year's budget to ensure local schools have first-class teaching and learning facilities for continued outstanding education in our community. Deputy Speaker, I made this ask to the Minister's predecessor before last year's budget and was disappointed that when Budget Day came around, there was no funding for a single school in Kew, Kew East, Borwin, Borwin North or uh, Kew. The electorate of Kew is home to more than 30 schools and education is at the very core of our community. Mm -hmm. Our local state schools require their fair share of capital funding to be able to provide the education that our community deserves and expects. I've worked with and listened to many principals, teachers, school councils, students and parents across my electorate to understand their needs and the gaps that they have. Prior to the election, we on this side of the House have made commitments to funding critical upgrades at a number of local schools. It's been 80 years since QE's primary school has received any significant state funding for capital works. I ask that the government commit to a $6.5 million upgrade to replace the outdated buildings and build eight new permanent classrooms, a staff room and an office area. Mm -hmm. Canterbury Girls Secondary College has no substantive investment in decades. Back in 2021, Deputy Speaker, there was an incident at the school where a wall collapsed. Luckily, no one was hurt. Oh my gosh. We committed to investing in Canterbury Girls $12.2 million to prepare and deliver a new master plan for its campus. The school facilities are dated and impractical, with spaces such as the science and art classrooms no longer supporting the needs of both parents, uh, teachers and students. Baldwin Primary School is a thriving local primary school with consistently strong NAPLAN results. However, enrolments have nearly doubled since 2011 and facilities have not been upgraded. We call on the government to commit to a $6.1 million upgrade for the development of a new school master plan and stage one upgrades, including new classrooms, much needed toilet facilities, staff and sick bay facilities. Q mm. High School desperately needs their main building replaced. Decades old, its dark, dated, small classrooms simply do not provide the learning spaces needed to deliver the best practice pedagogy the school's t leaders and teachers can offer. It's also incredibly thermally inefficient, with the utility bills far in excess of the funding the school receives. Students are desperate to install solar panels to reduce the school's carbon footprint, but neither the main building nor the gym's roof have load-bearing capacity to do so. Tinkering around the edges with maintenance here and there will not deliver what Q High School students need. And finally, I call on the government to commit to funding the next phase of the VSBA developed master plan at Chatham Primary School. Deputy Speaker, Labor holds 63% of seats, but schools and their electorates have received 93% of funds oh, for school upgrades. The Coalition holds 32% of seats, but schools and our electorates only received 6% of funds. This simply isn't fair, and I call the Minister to action these important funding commitments in the electorate of Kew.